you have to really interrogate the question, you know, what does it mean to save the planet? What does it mean to save humanity? I mean, what we're really talking about is a very, very particular worldview, very modern, very Western, very technocratic, quite male, actually. Um, all of these all of these blokes are blokes, or the great majority of them coming out with this stuff. Very particular worldview, uh, which has a lot of assumptions in it about what it means to be human, about what it means to live well, about what kind of society we ought to live in, what progress is, what what we consider to be uh, a good a, a good social organization. And as I say, it's a very particular worldview. There's a lot of people in the world who wouldn't even recognize this from different cultures and backgrounds. We're tending to assume that these are universal values, but they're not universal values even in the West. There are plenty of us who don't agree with this stuff. So the minute you come up with any grand totalizing scheme to quote save the world then you're on the on the verge of creating a tyranny because the world is very very big and complicated and people simply cannot agree on what it means and what a human life is for and you know what the value of a society is and what what our morals should be all of these big questions they can't even agree on that within countries let alone between them so there's you know there's a lot of very big stuff here um there was a debate recently about uh, cloud seeding i think bill gates had been funding a experimental cloud seeding operation up in the arctic no debate about this at all you know just experiments going on in the atmosphere funded by billionaires because the billionaires had decided that this was what was necessary to quote save the planet well who gets to decide you know that's another question is it the people with the money who decide is it the people with the technology who decide who's who controls them who controls bill gates who, who gets the permission to do this stuff so there's all of these big ethical questions and philosophical questions as well about what it even means but yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of people are increasingly desperate, especially when they look at climate change. And they just say, look, we just we just need to do whatever we can do because the news will be terrible if we don't. And there's, I think it might even be the majority of people who will go along with it for that reason. And as I say, it's a completely rational way to 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 behave. Um it's, you know, and it's all the all the things that I'm saying don't add up to a solution that I can offer anybody. Right. So I can't say, no, no, we shouldn't do that. We should do this instead. I don't have a solution. So if there's no 10 point plan that I could give you. So, um, I mean, I don't believe in anybody else's 10 point plans either. But, you know, if, you, if you're coming from the <laughs> point of, if you're coming from the point of, you know, we need to save the planet within 100 months, then you're already at the point where, you know, only only a radical global agreement is going to is going to sort it out. So it's a, it's a bit of a trap because you you feel like you're you're having to make a decision of some kind or agree with something you just got to choose the least worst option if you like